Hey guys, it's Mariah Aldrinus here. Um, this isn't a video I was really wanting to make today. Um, I did want to do regular topics like I always do with my channel, but um, I kind of have to make this one. Um, I was attacked by fans of Onision. And before I begin to tell you what happened, I want to say, first of all, I am not going to attack Onision for what happened, and I'm, I'm not going to uh, say it's all his fault or anything. Um, I don't really want to give my opinion on what happened just yet. Um, maybe I will on the... OTL page, but not in video. But, um, and also you, anybody can feel free to mirror this if they would like to. Uh, since there are false DMCA's going around, I really hope this doesn't get anything like that. But, anyway, I'll go on to tell you what happened. I was walking and, uh, they recognized me for my video. I guess they live in the same area that I do, and they, they just recognized me, and they uh, were calling me by my username, and I, I, I wasn't sure what to think about it, so I just uh, kept walking. And uh, they came up to me, and they were asking me why I keep bashing Onision, and I just said, leave me alone, and kept walking. And uh, they were saying, oh, I'm a pussy in real life, and I'm too ugly to get raped, and I'm just lying and everything. And I was just trying to get away, so I shoved one of them out of the way so they would let me pass. And uh, one of them grabbed me, and they just kind of started shoving me around. And I got kind of scared. Um, I'm not really physically hurt. I'm kind of sore where they were shoving me and my ribs are a little sore, but I'm not really that hurt. Um, the only thing that uh, did hurt though is um, I had surgery on both my feet last year. I had about three surgeries and uh, one of them did uh, accidentally step on my foot while I was being shoved and I have a little bruise on it. It's, it's not that bad, but um, yeah, uh, it was more so scary because I'm disabled, so like, I'm kind of weak. Uh, I can't really defend myself that well, and uh, I wasn't sure what to do, and they were just shoving me around and laughing and stuff, and I finally just pushed one of them and they fell on the floor, and this cop randomly came out of the cop car and ran over and got them and everything, and um... I took them in. Um, the other scary thing about that is I'm 4'11", and they were like probably 5'8 or so around that height. Um, a lot stronger than me, obviously, because I'm disabled, and like it was just kind of scary because I can't do much to defend myself. Um, the cop took them in, and uh, they were released because they are 15, and there was no physical damage, but I am pressing charges, and um, I haven't gotten any word from the police officer. He was supposed to call me when the, uh, what's it called, the police report, when I have the police paper thingy. Uh, when that's ready, he's supposed to call me, and I haven't gotten a call. Um, the reason I didn't make this video yesterday was because I was in school. And it seemed like Onision wanted me to give evidence, like, right straight away. And I'm like, first of all, I have a life. I'm in school. From 12 to 9, I'm in school. I can't do that. And the other thing is, I don't have the police report yet. What do you want me to do, dude? Um, and I was going to talk to him on Facebook because my internet was out. But I am blocked, so I can't really talk to him. And, uh, what was I going to say? Also, um, I'm blocked on YouTube, so I can't talk to him there. Um, I did talk to him on YouTube saying I was going to be emailing him soon, and, um, I should be doing that today. Um, I'm just not sure when I'm going to get the police report yet, 
um, first of all, there's the situation that they haven't called me when yet, and over here they generally, he told me he would call me when I was ready. And the other thing is, um, I, uh, I don't drive, so I don't know how to get there, and I don't particularly want my family to know about this, um, whole incident, you know. Um, the only one that's on my fan page where I talked about it a little bit is my uncle and my mother. They're the only ones I don't mind if they know, um, for obvious reasons, but, um, I'm supposed to meet with the parents of this, of the kid, the children today. They are about, one is 14 and the other two are 15, um, so they are very young. Um, which is why I'm considering not pressing charges, but I probably am. Um, so that way they have consequences, you know, they need to know there are consequences towards his actions. The reason I think this happened is because Onision did say a while ago to fight for him, and I know what he meant by that. I know he didn't mean literally, but I think they might have took it literally, you know? And like I said, I'm not blaming Onision for what happened. I don't want to give my opinion on what happened just yet. Um, I'm just telling you the situation. Um, when I have the police report, I will release them to the Onision Drama Tumblr or even the OTL page on Facebook or something. I'll release them and I'm going to send them to Onision as well when I get them from the police people. Um, it, it was a very scary situation, and I would like Greg, <coughs> I would like Greg to at the very least address this situation, um, even if I, for some odd reason, cannot get the police report, which I am, um, but if I can't or something, at least address that it might have happened, and, uh, say that it's unacceptable behavior. I don't need you to say who was attacked. I'm not doing this for attention because I actually don't want the attention, to be honest with you, but I feel like people should be aware that this happened. Um, the funny thing was I've been thinking about not being involved in this whole stuff anymore, and I think I sh I'm obligated to now. Not obligated, but like I feel like I need to. Um, I'm not trying to ruin your life, Omision, and I'm not particularly a hater. It's just that, um, uh, like, I don't hate you as a person, but the things you say do make me angry, and I am going to speak up about it if it makes me angry. And, um, I think that you have some psychological problems, but I'm not blaming you for the incident. I'm blaming the kids who did it. They're young, but they old, they're old enough to know what they're doing, and it's wrong. Um, and I think you need to address to them that it is wrong of them to be doing that. Um, so, uh, that's all I have to say about this topic. If you guys have questions, you can talk to me on my Facebook fan page, and I also have a Tumblr. I'm more available on Tumblr. Um, you can also talk to me in here. But I'm more, I'm not always available on my YouTube, so Tumblr and Facebook are probably going to be your best bet, but I will leave my Facebook, um, Tumblr, and Twitter account in the lower bar thingy above her. And, uh, <laughs> I fell. I'll talk to you guys later. And, uh, just be safe. And people on the OTL page, thank you a lot for your support. You guys have been really great. There have even been a few fans of Onision who have talked to me saying, even though we're fans of him, we're sorry that that happened to you. And it's very nice of you guys. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's like I said, I don't, I'm, I don't really particularly want the attention. Um, you know... You know, like, I just want people to be aware that this did happen, and, um, I just want to thank you guys for being such a big support, uh, it's been nice, and, uh, I will talk to you guys soon. 
Have a blessed day and be safe.